Coons to put in a few more players. We'll get to that after the plays. Munchkin's already got the opener on Sheon as the members of Havon Liberty try to test their way, work their way towards A. You had the early flash come out to make sure there was nobody pushing up a short. Very common place that you'll see a jet try to take space away aggressively in the opening of the round, and that's exactly where she's headed back to. So for this, Havon Liberty are going to have to rotate away, but Medusa's taken so much space away. Yes, he's good for one, not able to get anything else. They should get up towards C-Long, but as you see, again, Fisker has already gotten into a good spot as well. They're trying to get right back into C very quick. Wait, Ade has put himself right in there. This could be a tough one for oh. Crane's gonna be the first one. Ade, playing back sight. Spike oh. is there. A little jump, a little hop. Nothing doing. But he can tell, yeah, he can tell there's someone close. You'll see Plex is about to swing around oh the corner. The jumping <laughs> burst. Good for it, gonna leave things into a 1v1. Munchkin and Pletz. The spike is down, Plutz swinging around, Munchkin delivery bringing a judge into the fold while for Havan Liberty rifles across the board. Early trailblazers coming out uh, from Fisker to clear out space, but again, a little rinse and repeat. Riv, they're going back towards C. You've got the flash, you've got the dash, you've also got the Yuzo coming out from Crane. Fisker dancing around the cage, trying to stay alive. Zadi's playing backside as well. He's got that judge in tow. Oh! Oh, no, it's actually Pletz who's able to get that kill. The spike creeping its way forward. And things have gone a bit sideways here for Crazy Raccoon. And a much more quiet defense played in the attacker spawn here by Neeson as the team had a touch and go on the way in. Nice job by Crazy Raccoons to be able to push through that defensive utility of Havan Liberty. And we don't see the same rotation from Havan this time. They reconsidered when they were going back by Meeson. Now they have to rotate all the way around and it just becomes eco damage for the side of Havan Liberty as they look to take out Crazy Raccoons on the exit. Yeah, I think maybe, as you said, get a couple of, of exits, try to hurt things just Ooh. bad, just like that. And he, and he took one for his troubles, right? I'll, I'll take that. That's not bad. Yeah. Ooh, but that's that's it, really. So, Havon Liberty, they, they respond in a way that we... They're on the side of Crazy Raccoon. Here, Bladestorm has come online for Munchkin. You've also got Crane with the Rolling Thunder. Look, I mean, C is littered with Astro Stars. Meeson's in a great spot to stop over the pinch coming in from Munchkin. But even with it as telegraphed as it may seem, they know, we know where they want to go. The last couple of rounds they've gone that way. It's still been an excellent hold so far. Great positioning by Meeson there. See where Havon Liberty decides to go. They aren't with as much utility as that triple initiator composition they're usually bringing to the table here. So we do see them... There they go. A little more hesitant on the pushes. Neth ready with the judge, Doug. Here we go. The flash. The Seekers are going to come out as well. Ade was able to get two, though. That was beautiful. They haven't been able to work their way in, though. Red carpets being rolled out as they follow it, work their way onto A. Gravity well great to keep Medusa back, at least for the time being as well. Crane in a tight spot. Has some good util to work with. Oh, there's a black pack across. Misa follows that just fine. Please gets one as well. There's a cleanup all across the eastern side of the map, and that's been a pretty standard setup that we've seen from Fisker, but the hit's going towards B, Raven. This is the first time we've seen it in this map. The Gothic Divide comes out. Medusa's going to get cleaned up and out without taking one with him. Fisker, Fisker good for two. The flash comes out. Spike did get planted though. You've got Meeson. Oh, Meeson. Meeson was able to take care of one. There are just so many members of Crazy Raccoon. On the other side, they're going to get the showstopper as well, and it's the op that cleans things up. Ade is going to get the defuse. We're going back and forth, Riv. Yeah, so the moving is now towards A, but Pletz could be a huge, huge crux here for Havon Liberty. Medusa comes up big. Yes, he does. The neural theft is going to come online as well. That's going to force. Havon Liberty to think twice about where they want to go, how they want to approach this round. And it looks like we're going right back to Garage. So they're going to get it back for his teammate. Munchen does go down by Misa, but there is the trade. Neth takes him down, and it is going to be the 4v3. We are going back to B one more time. The flash from Xion to clear the way. 30 seconds left. You've got Fisker again. Wow. In a great spot. What a shot. He's going to get a chance Last in a second. Standing. Biazzi. Playing back sight, stuck between a rock and a hard place. He's worked his way through one of the problems in front of him, but he's still in a 1v3. He's going to grab the spike, and it looks like rotate towards C, but Medusa is already left. pulling off. Liazzi pulls back, doesn't have time. He's going to have to get the spike down here on B. Again, they start to converge, pinching from both sides here, Doug. This is going to be a tough one. A bit of utility coming with the flash. Dodges that out. 
Mm. He drops the lowest health member. Okay, Blade Storm online. Liazi. Oh, just narrowly missing that. Doesn't have that anymore, Liazi. Neth with the jumping. Stays on the outside. Left side for now. It happens. Munchkin's patience brings it up, but he does go down right after. From nothing. From dead silence. Instant. To an explosion of kills. Three of them being traded across the map. But all of that aside, Havant Liberty have gotten onto C. They should be able to get the spike down as well. It's going to be a 4v2 retake for Crazy Raccoon. Viazzi going in aggressive. The flash, the swing, the shots, the kill. As Crane has to back up. They're all funneling in through Garage. And I don't think they know. Riff, I don't know that they know. Yeah, they're going to be able to swing out. All right, now the jig's up. Crane's been taken out, though. Liazzi's going to be the last one standing, oh staring into three members of Crazy Raccoon. 68 health to work with the Molly to push him back, make that 25, as Ness just going to take the defuse away. No way for Liazzi to get in, carry that Vandal into the next round, but Ooh, for Crazy Raccoon... That was quick. Yeah, early, and they're following it. Like, they're committing to the... Oh, Medusa! But they're going to continue to go anyway. They've gotten in through long. They dropped the Trailblazers out from Xion as well to clear the path to get back onto C. So it's going to be a 5v4 slugfest for this C site. They get the spike down. They're going to pull off. You still have the Seekers out from Xion. You still have the Neural Theft from Easton as well to continue to really push the advantage that they have. And there are the Seekers right Fisker on fires back. Yep, it's going to be countered instantly. Both teams Whoop. trade those out. <laughs> Gentlemen's agreement of sort. Great tag though. Gravity Wall Zero, they're gonna have to push their way forward, and so far Crane and Plants are able to hold things off just fine, Medusa to have to his way around, he's gonna get taken out as well, Net, Net, Pleats is there, Pleats, 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 no, it's Ade who's able to, I think, I mean, it's the, they're rolling in the bank ball, right, they've gotten four rounds in a row, they've got money for days, but excellent use of utility by Havon Liberty, one of the few teams here in Berlin that use Breach constantly, right? Regardless yep, of the map, yep. they flex that agent, they love it, and you see it's plays like that. That explain why. Oh, Nep! Oh. Catches him on the tail end of that one, and three quick ones for Crazy Raccoon. Yep, Nep. Excellent. Excellent. In there, he's to drop. If you're Havan Liberty here, what, I mean, what do you do? I think you do what they had a hard time finding room to work with the last few rounds, but that that's what they need. Is big flank already being watched by Liazzi. Oh, oh Liazzi, you called it. He's good for it with the Visker swinging out, getting one as well, but the Blade Storm has come online. He goes up top, not able to land the shot, fortunately for him. Plants was, but Medusa's on that flank. Medusa's able to get one, isolate things down to a 1v1. He's got the spike, he's got the neural theft as well. This should give everything away. Spotted him. The camera. Medusa creeping his way forward, Liazzi with the hot shot, the 3k and the round win! Looks like it is going to be a garage C split, there's the orbital uh -oh. strike coming out, Liazzi able to dance away oh. as what was his teammate Medusa, of course the spike is down as well, but Medusa's in a brutal spot, the swing, Medusa's good for a second, traded out at the hands of Liazzi, a 4v3 in favor of Crazy Raccoon, the flash is there, Arne turns to it, Arne not able to land the shots, but Munchkin can Fisker. Working his way forward, it's just down to Fisker, the flash, oh my Fisker. god. Fisker! Three seconds left. There's not going to be enough time to plant the spike. The flash is there. Well, he was good for one, but that's all. He was good. For Strong on this one. So already some stars are out. Plant the spike. Oh, right on top of that. That's, oh, that was Neeson waiting for somebody to break his trip. They played right inside his head on that one, and the rest of the team's going to follow through with Munchkin. Oh, but there's still somebody in logs. But yeah, there is. Plants was on logs. He's gone undetected. He's able to take care of Munchkin. Fisker's on backside, though, as it's just down to Shion. He's going to show up a bit late. He's got some Mewtwo to work with, though, as Adi's getting the spike down. He's got a ghost. Spike Creeping planted. his way forward. The spike has gone down. She unable to isolate it. Down to one. The tap. Fisker. Not swinging. The guy's fearless. Fisker holds fast. Crazy Raccoon win the towards A. They have long. They have short. But for Havon Liberty, they had Xion. Well, they had Xion. And they had Liazzi as well. Crazy Raccoon, they're just running all over him. It's fantastic. I mean, Ade's down, but he got the smokes up in heaven, up in spawn necessary for the team to take the site with the... Next util coming out, and we know how well these guys are playing behind their util on both teams. Crazy Raccoon follows everything in, and now a 4v2. Platt's up in heaven. He's not getting anything to work with, man. He hasn't seen a soul. Gravity well, not attacking. The defensive rate is 58% for that side of Havan Liberty, so they... Knowing the traps, wa trap wire is there, it's going to be taken out by Munchkin in the dash in, maybe. 
Cloud burst, dash, you called it. Munch can playing around his smoke. Drops his head one as well. There's a gravity roll. Oh, oh, strike boy. and the show stopper coming out. Nefinade are able to get two. Munchkin gets one as well. The remaining members of Holland Liberty are in shambles. They're on opposite sides of the map. They can't get anywhere near A. And it's how Crazy Raccoon have taken full control of the site. Went right back to the same play because they were feeling it. And I think that that round. Well. Okay. There it is. Okay. Two more. That util as well, but all members of Crazy Raccoon, with the exception of Medusa, are in C, so they've Spike gotten in. C. They did. And that's going Hunting. to stop the spike, though. What? Nat, good for one on the plats. The spike now is starting to get planted, and Medusa, he's starting to get swarmed. But will they? Havon Liberty have gotten back onto the site. They're all, all they know. They know that they were long. Leonti follows the red carpet back into it, and Havon Liberty rips. Crazy Raccoon to shreds. Munchkin, though, with the Blade Storm. He's got the op as well. Narrowly missing that shot. Is he going to be able to land the Blade Storm? He's just messed up. They get the defuse. There was nothing that he could do. Have any well? Oh, he's just trying to Wait a minute. Oh, but not his what? shot. He's going to get flashed in his face. But Leonzi somehow lands and kills anyway. Gets a second with the judge. What on earth is going on? Oh, my word. A little Cirque Soleil over it. A ton that you can do here. Crane. Whoop. Whoa, Munchkin with the shorty. <laughs> this is one of those things where it's been so much time that every angle is a possibility, so yeah. Shion knows. Don't worry, I got the flank. Yeah. Nice off plant. Yeah. Medusa, Hanade. I mean, they've gotten the spike down, and Medusa yeah. works his way into a <laughs> cheeky little spot. They're going for it. Riv, they're going for it. Riv, oh they're going oh for it. Riv, they're going for it. Adi's able to get two. It's just down to Liazzi, but Liazzi's on the site. He's going to get the hear, fuse. He He's hear it. down to half. Adi's got to swing around, and Liazzi, Liazzi, my goodness, how? Apps. They do have the orbital strike to work with as well, and there it is. Liazzi's going to get pushed back. The cosmic divide's going to come out as well. As Munchkin gets cleaned up, but they're going into this anyway. Crane's been able to hold back site. Medusa's left alone. down A. Every round that passes, it's like they they can do this. And we've seen from from Crazy Raccoon now. Mid. And those spaces been taken here. Havan Liberty's retakes have been fantastic. Crazy Raccoons is into pressure that once again. They have and they have the they've been fantastic and they have the Rolling Thunder to work with as well. So keep an eye on Crane here. How he opts to use it, but it might not be an option. Beautiful. Death. Great. Reaction there to catch Xion while the push was coming in for mid, so they no longer can go that way. They're gonna have to work their way through heaven. They're gonna have to go work their way in through Link. There's the rolling thunder. You see the drop coming down from heaven as Yazi's back behind them. They have his attention. He has their attention. Neth working his way up from short. Plets on the diffuse. Adi's there as well. Oh, but okay, so they were able to get it. Oh, Yazi's going into all that, trying to stuff it. He's got the nade! Craig gets cleaned up! My goodness! Wow. Of all there have not been too many. How will they react if we late game rows? Well, the Seekers have been used. So all of the attention is going Hello. in from heaven! Yep, there it is. Munchkin goes up top. Beats was able to trade that out. But they're working the middle of the map. They've also got the last remaining member there. Ade, who was able to take care of that. But they've gotten onto the site. They're going to be able to get the spike down as well. The two remaining members of Havon Liberty are rotating in. They've got the Trailblazer to try to create some space. But they're really no closer. Nice push out here by Neff to make sure they're denying forward space. And it's the drop into hell for the retake here. Havon Liberty's heading in. Yep, fake flash. Great cleanup on Viper. Drops things down to a 2v2. Spike ticking away. Meeson creeping his way forward. Ah, Neff. So they know where he is. He's so... He, he's down to 2 HP. Fisker swinging around. It's just down to Neth. Now, if he can isolate the gunfights, he may have a chance at this because he's in so weak. Good for one on Mies, but he's going to reload. He's winked oh, out, and he lands my. the shots anyway. A red bull. It's on Medusa to draw some attention. Draw some attention to the alarm bot, but do they rotate? Do Havan Liberty take the bait? Look, they're not moving, Riv. Another star goes out. Quick smoke as well, just to deter that spot from being taken. We see a few left. more stars. The Astro one getting popped towards heaven to indicate, hey, we oh. may be going A. Here yep. comes a rotation from Crazy Raccoon, though. Just dropped two more Astro stars on B, and that was the cue for them to pull off. Plants was able to get one. Liazzi gets one as well. The remaining members are now going to start to rotate over, but by the time they get there, the round may already be done. 12 seconds left. The spike hasn't been planted yet. Plants on backside. And with Tina Fisker as well. Ade getting one. Matt getting one as well. But you've got to get the spike down. You don't have enough time. No, 
there's not gonna be enough time to do it. It's just gonna be a straight up slugfest. Crane cleans it up. Havon Liberty are on the bay. You can have control of A, you can have heaven control, you can have slight control, but because the spike, because of where the spike is, and because of the lack of info across the middle of the map, it's so 30 seconds Mason, left. Alone, backside. You do have Xion who's playing up in heaven to help out. He's got a judge. Man, he's been flashed, he's been cleaned up, Sion's been cleaned up as well, so they have gotten onto the site, they're going to be able to establish themselves just fine. Although, of course, as I say, that crane cleans up Munchkin, the spike is planted. ...that you tagged up Crazy Raccoon, maybe that's enough to throw down the Seekers, but with that much HP... Ooh, okay, coming out with a judge. Okay, Sion. Very aggressive. This is what we know him for. Yep. And the thing is, so you've got the lockdown in Liazzi's hand as well, so as soon as he feels that the presence has gone that way, he can drop the ult and it's just going to be a force fight. Yeah, the Seekers come out as well. Liazzi's good for it. The alarm bot's going to give some space away. Spike is down. Oh, the patience, though. Meeson's going to have his hands full. Yep, Medusa no able to clean that up. His, his ability to get behind enemy lines is absurd. Every round. Now, Neth is going to show up a bit late to the party. He's still playing mid, but that all of the rotates have actually worked their way in through defender spawn. So, Munchkin gets the spike, spike down, planted. has the blade storm to work with, Here. and they're gonna have heaven control. It may take a bit, but because of where Ness is positioning in, they're gonna have heaven control. Great shot from Munchkin. Medusa goes in aggressive, cleans that up as well. Shion trades that out though. Oh, Shion's going! The showstopper cleans up Munchkin, drops things down to a one v one. Neth waiting. He has to wait. Xion Neth. Neth lands the shots. Crazy Raccoon get to five. Havon is going to be rocking the judge. They have plenty to deal with over towards A as Crazy Raccoon have worked their way okay. forward. But Xion's dialing Let's up go. the judge. He's gotten two already. Making sure there's nobody else pushing in. They've already taken middle of the map too, right? So if they are going to rotate again, it's going to have to be through Defender Spawn or you have to fight your way through Pletz, who, mind you, only has a judge, but... Oof, we've seen that dude damage. Xion here again. Three with the judge. A possible fourth coming out. Last back oh. into the gravity well. Oh, yeah. Get Lassie. He's in the well. Xion. Viper's Pit used defensively from Havan Liberty to its B. I know exactly where you are. Also got the neural theft coming online. Members of Crazy Raccoon starting to rotate over. But Crane has taken a lot away. Here. You see the Astro Stars dropping as well, mm -hmm. making sure there's nobody pushing through. So it's a bit of delay, it's a bit of buy time. They're going anyway. Rotation comes over. It does not look like Crazy Raccoon wants anything to do with that Viper's Pit. It B and the take is happening on A. Yazi from up heaven! He's able to get two, he gets dropped though. As Fisker should get the spike down. Meeson's gonna show up late again. Yeah. He dropped the Viper's Pit towards B at the beginning of the round to deny entry in towards B. Crazy Raccoon managed to find room to work with on A. And it is quite a bit, but Mason it's up to Meeson. He got the timing. He got the timing. He's got to land shots on Fisker, and he's going to have to do it quick because there's the pressure coming in from Heaven Meeson. He's in a corner, and yeah, Neff. I mean, only big weapon, if you will, okay. is Shion. But Meeson, good for one with the Sheriff. Oh, but he's going to get cut off. Little Crane sticky. gets the second one as well. As he gets dropped. So the Viper's Pit is there. Seeker's going to be used. Meeson has to clear that out. Yeah, he's gonna get caught. Ade gets the spike down. Members of Havant Liberty slowly but surely start to work their way forward. Drop the alarm bot in the Viper's pit. This from the back side. Oh. Cleaning up Pletz. Okay, bullets left though. Ade cleans up Xion as well. It's just so difficult, right? When you're trying to work in that smoke, the nice thing is it's dropped down to a 2v2, so Havant Liberty are somehow finding a decent oh. shot at this, but it's just Meeson who's left. And he gets cleaned up as well. Fisker, mid, they're leaning towards A. We talked about the op, and there it is. Xion's good for it. No ultimates in tow, but Xion. A little warning shot, a little backup. Flets on the way over. Yeah, but he, they're, good. they're gonna have to get there quickly. You've got Neth, who's gonna be able to work the middle of the map. Oh! Xion tacked down to 44 health. Flets has been cleaned up. The spike is still not down, but they're continuing to work their way forward. Medusa's Neth has gotten two. Neth gets one as well. Seven seconds left. Ade gets the spike down. Two members remaining on the side of Havan Liberty. Uh, oh, he does have the wherewithal to check that. Meeson takes, takes care of Neth. Equalize, not quite equalize things, but tip things a bit more in their favor. Medusa's in a brutal spot here. Oh, and they check it. Meeson's gotten two huge kills so far as the spike continues to take away. Fisker dropping the flash. Meeson's good for three, but that's all he's good for. So they do want to go towards A. 
Seekers are out. Flash as well. Medusa gets tagged. But there's there's not they don't really swing off of that. And it's gonna be traded out by seekers of their own. Ade's already been cleaned up. Nat is gonna have to rotate back and again. He's gonna have to go in through sewers, pick up the spike. As the rest of Crazy Raccoon try to get onto the site, Medusa is still alive. But they haven't given up an inch. Havan Liberty's defense is hold fast. They haven't what dropped one. It? Cosmic Divide is gonna come out as there well. In a 5v2. And an op in the hands of Munchkin Bladestorm online. He can go up top here. He can work his way around. That's exactly what he does. Well, great. Yes, Munchkin, good for it. On to Xion. Dancing his way around. He's going to have to get the spike down, though. Your lockdown has been used. They didn't hear that. They did. All right, so Havan Lib is going to get a chance. Oh, does he wait? Oh. <laughs> Who's close by who could work up towards ropes. No, they're actually going to rotate back mid. Medusa gets cleaned up. Super fantastic play. Those were just pulled back stars from Havan Liberty. They were not full cover. So quickly used oh! that to get across. Fisker comes up big dog. No shot. Fisker's good for two. He's down to Ade. Ade swings around as well, shows up. And that's just enough to make him think about things. All right, so they clear it out. The question is, do they take that space or is it just enough? Yeah, to cause problems. Medusa gets cleaned up. They want to go for it. Fisker got okay. one, but Xion traded it out. They actually go towards that right side. Nicely played and they're able to thwart. The crazy raccoon defense. Avon Liberty now getting themselves nicely in sight. The plan actually for a heaven. Let's see how they decide to play this one. This looks like they still, uh, may still defend inside. He realize he's still hanging up mid. The rotations from crazy raccoon are all going to be coming from defender spawn. You've got a judge and you've got a specter. You also have a huge lead. So you've got some room to work with. Great oh, they timing. They're running away. Yep, that was beautiful timing. Munchkin was still able to get one. Upgrade a weapon as well. A 1v3. Munchkin. Oh. It's just, there's just not enough time. There's nope. not enough time in Nisan. Right there. <laughs> That's how late they wait. And Medusa gets cleaned up. So they also get a good bit of info there too, right? Because the Seekers went all the way in through ropes. Liazzi make sure there's it. nobody there. Liazi's going to work his way up in through ropes. They're going to turn their attention over to A. They've gotten into back sight. Xion's back there. Everyone's back there. It's a party as they've gotten onto it. They're going to get the spike down as well. The three mem remaining members of Crazy Raccoon all coming in from the defensive side of the map. There's no flank for them to have to worry about. Nothing pinching in that way. Meeson drops. Certainly the start that Crazy Raccoon need. Whoa, risky nades being thrown, but he gets out alive. Fisker drops as well. Munchkin going forward, he's gonna get dropped. It's just Neth, Neth alone in a 1v2. Neth heard heaven. Yeah, and you've got some space Neth there. Neth heard heaven. Neth in a 1v1. Liazi, just on the other side of the smoke. Then the Nanoswarm's gonna delay things and should still have time! Net swings out, gets nope. three, but no, not enough time for the defuse! Listen, swinging around, making sure there's nobody pushing in from Robin. You hear the showstopper has been used. Xion blast packing his way across. You do have some presence. Munchkin trades one out. Fisker drops. He was the only one who's still playing back sight in hell, and he gets taken out. They have control of B. Oh, Nat feeling afraid for a second. Uh, I like the patience here that Havan Liberty is using, you know. The gravity wells were going down and whatnot, but they're waiting for Crazy Raccoon themselves to peek, and it comes up big. Ade's gonna have to go big here because Medusa has nothing but a classic! That's exactly what Ade does, is he gets one, Medusa swinging his way around, dropping things down to the 1v1! The classic burst is not enough! Me if I can follow as well. 30 seconds left. Or it's A. Toxin screen down. Ade's backside again. He's been asked to One man the army. Site. Yep, many a time before and it's been successful, but he's gonna get the chance to do it again. Not even able to get that's one. Tough. The Viper's pit drops. Leeds able to take care of the flank that's coming in. The Seekers are out as well. Crane gets the spike down. You've got entrance to it. Now is available because the Cosmic Divide just cleared up. But you still got the Viper's pit that you need to work with. Meeson working his way in the side of 5v2. And for Crazy Raccoon, why not go for it? Meeson drops. He's got 1v4. Make that a 1v3. Make that a 1v2. 12 HP, 7 bullets, and not a ton of time to work with. But Munchkin. Oh, we bow his spike. Yeah. He's, uh, they're both up in heaven, too. He get somehow gets this far back. Gravity well? Yeah, there's just there's this is a brutal spot for, for Munchkin to be in here. Between their positioning, between the cross the middle of the map, right at the beginning, Nat's already been tagged up. He's down to 70, 71 health, but manages to get one. How quickly do you... Crazy raccoon. They're the stars. 
pull off on has been very successful at anchoring the site. And now you've got Munchin to help out as well. The gravity well to deny the push initially, but here comes the showstopper. Xion going in aggressive. I don't know that he's going to spot anything. Fisker! 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 The flash! Oh my god! So Fisker's good for two! Down a. And the spike is down. 13 seconds left. They're going to have to get onto it. But I don't know that they can get in. I don't know that they can get in. I don't know that Meeson can get around. And even if nope. they do, he's only got two health to work with. He doesn't have time. He doesn't have health. Avon Liberty don't have the round. Crazy Raccoon at map point at series point. Found a showstopper. Quick fights as well. As they turn back towards A, Shion in again to initiate. Munchkin's Blade Storm. Munchkin's Blade Storm. Munchkin's able to get one. Ade's up top as well. This munch can drop. Ade, Ade, oh baby, Ade, Ade, good for two. The spike's down as well. Munchkin and Ade there. holding the site down. They, they don't know that they can get onto the spike. You talked about Plex. He was able to get one. Meeson gets one as well. A 2v2 here. Plex. Tournament hopes. Bracket hopes. On the two remaining players of Avon Liberty's shoulders. Fisker in a 1v2 here. 92 health. 33 armor to work with as well. Creeping his way forward. He's, he might left. get the timing on Meeson. He's going to get the timing on Meeson. It. it all comes down to Plex to win this thing, to keep it alive, to give them hope, to give them a chance for Havan Liberty. Fisker, the flash, the swing, 15 seconds left. He's got the spike. Fisker, Fisker's gonna get the timing, but no, he just narrowly misses the shot. Blitz just down to one HP. Fisker on the swing, the spike is gonna go down, and Fisker Whoa! does it! A Red Bull clutch to win the map, to win! Have the Seegers and Crane's pocket, but please, Plets, excuse me, and Crane, both at 20 